How's it going YouTube? I'm Landon, let's talk about the news. I have a ton of YouTube news for you guys, some Bill Cosby trial shocking updates and more. First up we have Logan and Jake Paul who has raised to absolute internet stardom and internet fame and internet riches. They have been bringing in millions of dollars in the past a little bit. Logan Paul's vlog channel has been gaining over 100,000 subscribers a day. He gained 1.4 million subscribers in the last 30 days and has been getting over 11 million views a day. Jake Paul has also been following suit his younger brother. He's been been getting very similar numbers lately. Right now he's well on his way to 10 million subscribers. Jake Paul has hit 5 million subscribers in the last 5 months which is insane when you think about it and he's less than a month away from hitting over 1 billion views. Jake is also on the Disney channel so both of these brothers are doing very well for themselves. Logan's in movies, his younger brother's on TV shows. All this stardom could be because they've been feuding on YouTube. They've been releasing diss tracks to each other but finally they came out with the video together so it sounds like they're back to normal, they're back to being bros. Ross of the Pulse that's right, the brothers are back. I think maybe Jakey became a maverick, but this does raise the question to, is this marketing genius? Did they start all this fake feuding with each other just for the views, for the attention? I mean, it worked. Was this even real? I will let you guys decide. Are you guys part of the Logue gang or the Jake Paulers? Moving on, Bill Cosby's trial has begun. Yesterday was day six, today is day seven. Bill Cosby is in court after multiple cases of sexual assault allegations came forward with the earliest case that might have taken place in the mid 60s. Bill Cosby is being accused by over 60 women of either rape, drug facilitated sexual assault, sexual battery, child sexual abuse, or sexual misconduct. That is a lot to be facing. Well, in court yesterday, it was shocking, but the defense rests after just six minutes. This is after just one witness came forward to testify. The witness was a police detective. This doesn't seem to be going Bill Cosby's way. There was speculations that Bill Cosby himself would testify, but he has not so far. It said that 79 year old Bill Cosby, if convicted, he's going to serve at least 10 years behind bars. I'll keep you guys updated with everything on that. I have some more news for you guys from North Korea. They have been trolling Donald Trump with threats to test long range missiles that they say will hit the United States. Well Donald Trump took to Twitter to say this. North Korea just stated that it is in its final stages of developing a nuclear weapon capable of reaching parts of the US. It won't happen. This will be a very serious threat to the states if they start performing these long range tests. America has sent in budget requests for $259 million to put directly into weapons that can take out several war warheads at once in case North Korea does target America with warheads or this missiles. They want to make sure that they're able to attack like multiple missiles in case they launch multiple of them. As soon as North Korea acts with some sort of attack, I think this could very well start World War 3, which is very scary to think about. I just wish this world was just a more safer place, just a more happier place. America is trying to speed up the development of this technology that might save millions of lives, might save millions of American lives. So this new technology is being called MOKV, which is a multi-object kill vehicle which would be able to take out several incoming warheads at once. This technology could ultimately revolutionize the missile defense architecture. The only problem is this missile object kill vehicle, it's not going to be developed until 2025. So is that years too late? The new Black Panther trailer has just come out. This is a Marvel movie right now that's highly anticipated. Right now the trailer has been seen over 20 million times and it's YouTube's number one trending video. Here's a quick sample of the trailer. I'm the only one who's seen it. <laughs> and made it out alive. Well, that was the first look of the movie. We still have to wait, you know, quite a bit of time till the movie comes out. Movie doesn't come out until February of next year, around Valentine's Day. Let me take you guys over to the box office over the weekend. Third place was Captain Underpants, the first epic movie. That movie made about $12.3 million. Second place was The Mummy in its debut. The movie made $32 million. The Mummy was only beaten by Wonder Woman. The movie made over $57 million in its second weekend, which is just amazing. Worldwide, Wonder Woman has made almost half a billion dollars. Next weekend, look out for Cars 3 to finish on top. Rough Night also comes out. That's about a group of friends who are horrified when a male stripper they hired for a wild bachelorette party in Miami winds up dead. This looks good. Things get really crazy in the movie, but it seems funny. All Eyes on Me is also out next weekend. This is a true untold story of Tupac Shakur. The movie I'm looking forward to, I know my fiance would love to see it, but these are types of movies she gets really afraid of, and I'm talking about 47 meters down. Watch the quick trailer. Oh my god. That's the biggest shark. Can you take a picture of me? Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Ah! Ah! We would like to come back up now. I'm bringing you back up. Oh my God. Ah! Ah! Is this real life?
life right now? I hope it's not. These girls fell in a shark viewing cage to the bottom of the ocean, and the only way to survival, the only way up, is through shark infested waters. I mean, what is more terrifying than this? You're gonna like suffocate or get eaten up by sharks. Well, I really hope this movie ends well, and I can't wait to see it to find out. Well, there you guys have it. That's all the news stories I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow.